break skin armor. Some fire resistance here. Pretty okay, actually. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her too. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Oh, you think you're the first? Come in here. You go attack him. You stay back. Alistair. Yeah. Start shooting. What are you doing? Everyone is running around like headless chicken. Maybe just now we, we can beat this. No. It's okay, she can actually cast some more spells.
are slightly on fire. Let's see. too close they are getting stunned Your order? but we are still doing rather fine unless I misclick with the right tactic. It is begun. Levitsky. Yes, please. I wonder if she, she is really dead. Although I probably shouldn't put my hand inside her jaws. Robes of Possession and Flemeth's Grimoire. You have returned from the wilds, alive. What news have you? Flemeth is dead. Dead? You actually managed it? I barely dared to hope it was even possible. Well, you could and have told Grimoire. us that she can Did turn into it? dragon. No, I did. Yes, here it is. And so here it is. Fantastic. And thank you for helping me. No one has ever. Thank you. Difficult to say, is it? Perhaps a little, but it is honestly meant. Morgan approves. And. Yeah, look at this. My character has you know a thing with Alistar. Is <laughs> that a drink, Alistar? I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. The Darkspawn would come and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. I thought that I might give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. Hmm. <laughs> little, little, little thorny. I guess it's a bit silly, isn't it? I just thought, here I am, doing all this complaining, and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you joined. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. I thought maybe I could say something. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this well, darkness. I, I think he ju just struck gold. 
I feel the same way about a corny sentiment. I feel the same way about you. I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this <laughs> embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. And yo, you were doing so well. Oh? Your loss then. All the ladies go on and on about how suave I am. I don't know how you can resist me like you do. Oh look, is that a cloud? I expect rain. Clean, clean them away. For some reason, I don't, I don't know. Pre better check that if we have actually continued this quest. All right, so. Might you have news? Photo your You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Esau? Well... Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. Well, we kind of sacrificed your wife in a blood ritual. This is most troubling. Um, I agree. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. We wouldn't have Reward. done it without blood mage. I know mage. you did what you had to. I grieve for Isold, but I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Or I need your help against the blood. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts, nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. Oh, I was looking forward to meeting him. Can you unite the nobility against Loghain? I could unite Loghain? those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. <laughs> Alistair would be a terrible king. Tegan and uh, I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I no. want? No. 
You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denaran. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead, I call. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the lands meet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He seems to understand his desire to repent. Oh, that is unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strained. Uh, give him to the circle of magic. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan. I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. Did you hear? Androste's ashes have been found here in Ferelden too. <laughs> Mother Bolin said that's just some hoax. Best be careful, Darkspawn are coming. I didn't get into this business to sit on my goods. Oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well-armed to notice a lowly merchant. Yeah. Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the Assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. Twice a year, I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Best of luck to you. The assembly is deadlocked. No one knows when they'll reopen the city. King Loghain will... Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign Dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. <laughs> Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. 
Indrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The Assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. Hmm. The Wardens killed King Kaelin and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the Royal Seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. You... you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Trust follow, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting, but your presence will be tolerated. All right. Those statues. Oh, pity for a poor old man. How did you get yeah. ancestors? said before, Morrigan, about the Circle of Magi being a leash. Do you truly believe that? Only a fool would think otherwise. You would prefer a world where young mages were slain by the ignorant for their talent, taught to fear their abilities? That is what the Circle teaches. You fear your abilities instead of reveling in them. Believing ourselves to be superior over other men is what led to the Imperium. And the Darkspawn. Oh, cannot believe you give credence to such drivel. Those who do not heed the lessons of history are doomed to repeat. That's interesting because next no further than the elves for Dragon Age game will have the winter in Peru. Your leash. So we are finally getting to see the place that. It's uh, often referenced in these first first ga uh, Dragon Age games. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Hamlet, separate these gushers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Do not speak that way about the man who should be king! Okay. Okay. This is how dwarves actually settle disputes. Won't have fighting in the commons, especially in front of outsiders. I find that sodden fool, I'll have him in the Legion. Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over Sam, Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. And surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. 
If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperin, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Valen speaks through his second, Bartag Gavorn in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. Yes, you should. For he is lost in darkness. You must keep him safe. For you know what it is to me. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rock. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. The Deep Roads are where Darkspawn come from. They descend for miles into the earth, and we must patrol them constantly or be overrun. I lost my husband to them. If I lost my son the same way... The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by dark spawn that way. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. Warden. So you could do it. Only Wardens face the deep roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The Ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good Widow Filda. We'll do our best. Please, find me as soon as you return. A mother's soul. Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Flight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. Baker's blessing on you, sister. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Return to my ancestors' land to spread the chant. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. There is... resistance. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memories permission to open a prayer meeting. The Shaper of Memories controls the Shaper it, Orzammar's record system. Like the Chantry's historians, but, but more thorough. They track the births and lineage of every dwarf born in the city, every property sale, death in battle, marriage, or divorce. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Noble Larder. Okay. 
Yeah, I am on figures of heroes. Batteries. Tavern Dustal. I think it might be in the diamond water or some 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 something like along those lines. What is this that? is tavern. Woman vomit. Shall we? Maybe they have a like stone vomit or something. Okay, so this I tried dwarven ale once. I thought it was just something they tricked surfaces into drinking as a joke. I knew I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them too. Never find them the way they scare me. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. <sighs> Guess I'm shutting it down. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Lost nugget. Excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? You look like you're not from around here. Oh, wonderful. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Uh... Force can do magic. Magic. Apparently, they don't in, in this world. I want to go to the circle to study. I assure you that desire will depart the moment you arrive. <laughs> I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of Lyrium's methods. Mm, that that would be actually something that works. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperium's Verticum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> Oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Yes? Well, we're not exactly alone. What did you have in mind? Ah! Oh! <laughs> you want to... right now? Well, who am I to refuse? Surprise! Alistair approves. Better be. As you say. I do can. House I do can. Royal pal Palace. News of the hour. Lord Haramont's insinuations against Lord Balan reveal the truth. Could Haramont be the true cause of King Endrin's death? Shocking allegations. For such a short people, they do rather like their buildings. Tall. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the shaper of memories. The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Verkel hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn two thousand years of tradition? This is actually pretty, pretty uh, like, pretty much uh, like uh, the one quest in Mass Effect One, where you get there's a preaching Hanar, and they kind of explore same kind of themes and questions in these games. Cunning. What sort of charities do you mean? I am not certain this is in Orzammar's best interests. Our castes have served us well, but it's possible this service could benefit our people. Very well, he may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. 
At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Chirac was capital then, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our territory. Now the Empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. At the other side of the old Empire, during the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads, abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Cal Chirac is the only other city to outlast the Blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the Golems. For years they were our weapon against the Darkspawn. One Golem is worth a dozen Dwarves in battle, but Caradon's Tig is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating Golems. There are books about it along these walls, if you would read more. They are to us what a colony is to surfacers. Please, speak your mind. We were a great empire once, outnumbering we tr but we lost too many battles. I will settle your mind if I can, Warden. All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to Paragon. A Paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the Assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Branca is a Paragon, now and into death. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the Assembly's eye. Before she had seen 20 years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her Paragon status. She went into the deep roads two years ago seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. According to our legends, seven brothers founded our empire. The youngest, Bloodlik, was the wisest and was chosen king. His children formed the noble caste. The eldest, Gyatshet, trained his sons to defend their king. They became the warrior caste. Chatkyar founded the artisans. Orzatyar forged our first swords. It was Orzammar who dug the mines that became our city's foundations. The twins, Koapar and Nacht, both founded trading houses. But Nacht was wounded in battle. On his recovery, he swore to serve his brother's sons. The castless descend from criminals and those repudiated by their own families, or who chose to go to the surface and live by human laws. They have no ancestors to guide them and no families to claim them. They should not have been born. Their parents defied their shame and brought cursed children into the world. It's better they die young. Their births are not recorded in the memories. In Orzammar, they do not exist. Is there something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. Warden, welcome. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag de Vorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king sadly lacking one of those right now. You must understand, Aramont hides behind his good reputation while sending spies and assassins. Balin can't know who to trust. It's been like a knife in the heart for Balin to see so many of his father's men stand with the usurper. Uh-huh. That hurts worst of all. That Haramont would take advantage of the dying king's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. After that, you understand why Balin cannot trust the word of a stranger, however reputable that stranger might be. Ah. 
Paramount has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramon's deception. Irrefutable evidence? Which I suppose you have? I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Haramon promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Haramon can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Don't expect this offer to last. If my prince hears you swore allegiance to his enemy, he won't be so friendly next time. Mm. I will be here if you change your mind. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. <laughs> Forgive me, but I must take my. This is to study magic. Indeed, <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic, no matter how hard she tries. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. I see. If she is willing to sacrifice so much for this, then we should feel honored. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the circle. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices, when it is appropriate. Ah, if only the Circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our Dwarven neighbors. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. You've already done much for the circle. Now you must see to your duty as a Grey Warden. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. Hello, how can I... Oh, it's you! And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Oh, please tell me what they said. Ancestors, bless you! I can't believe it! There hasn't even been a Dwarven Observer in the circle since your Relvin in the 13th century. Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No, my parents would get suspicious. I need to go. Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Then I should go before my parents come looking for me. If you ever go to the circle again, maybe I'll see you there. Okay, she kind of escaped. Anything to eat today. Neither have I. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to. But no, I can't bear to even think of it. My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. You would do that? But why? Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. 
But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapsters in the evening. Oh, that guy. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. What are you looking at, stranger? I could be. What business is it of yours? What? You think she died just to keep that thing? She knows what she has to do to come home. I never wanted her gone. Just the little cur. Can't she see she'd have a better life if she got rid of it? Look, just tell her... We never meant to hurt her. It just seemed best that... Well, just tell her to come home. Her mother and I are waiting for her. Yay. And there's a tavern nug. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? I doubt either candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. As you wish. So I need to select which which of the nobles I am going to support. And too bad there's not, I hope you're not information to go on. The choice they gave you was clear. If you want Balin to support you in your surface war, you'll have to help him take the throne. Excellent. I have the promissory notes right here. Just take them to Lady Dace and Lord Helmy, and show them Haramont is not as honest as he claims. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. Ah, she's here. What do you want? Ah, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. An interesting accusation. But to cheat me, wouldn't Haramont and I need to be in business? Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. He is leading a Deep Roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient Taig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Does that mean you'll go? So Balin's victory means enough for you to risk your life. How interesting. A funny thing in Darkspawn blood should be poisonous, but... Uh, nobody in the first game actually uh, actually gets poisoned by it. There's, a, there's one, one person in the second game who gets poisoned, which is like, okay. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? Oh, well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. But we'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. Hello. Watch this! An elf? I'm sorry. But I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the deep roads. Finally, have the edge, which I doubt. Beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far, except to... except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. 
What anyone knows? She went out there with her entire house and she's never coming back. You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. A few outposts. Legion of the Dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Best of luck.